morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for uh, Thursday's trading session, the 23rd of uh, February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market direction, let's just bring up the stats for you. Asian markets, first and foremost, certainly weaker on the back of hawkish fair FOMC minutes. Uh, again, emerging markets certainly being hit, stronger dollar, obviously commodities being hit. Having said that though, oil supply data certainly came in on the weaker side, uh, or certainly uh, indicated a drop in uh, potential stockpiles, and therefore has helped the, um, the actual um, oil prices higher. Nevertheless, it's a stronger dollar policy going forward, with Fed uh, indicating March certainly is live, and three rate hikes this year. It's very hard to be short the dollar. So certainly um, uh, bullish dollar going forward. Uh, and therefore, you are looking at uh, a risk off, especially with emerging markets at such lofty heights. Asian markets down, Nikkei down, Hang Seng down, Shanghai down, indicating risk aversion. We have Marine Le Pen concerns as well with her gaining in votes uh, in the first round. Certainly, even with Macron news yesterday, uh, certainly is negating that altogether. So hawkish uh, FOMC. Is certainly a risk aversion trade. Also, FOMC Fed uh, it also indicated concerns with the lofty uh, equity prices as well. Certainly concerned with the uh, overbought nature of equities uh, and also the ECB this morning as well, concerned about valuations at present. So, this is all an indication that the FOMC or central banks certainly uh, want the uh, equity markets lower and therefore it's, uh, it's a signal for traders to uh, expect lower prices. That's my interpretation thus far. Okay, in terms of uh, uh, in terms of economic data this morning, let's just go over this for you. Uh, German GDP came in in line, really with with uh, German DAX around twelve thousand. I mean, can anything else? Is any is, is all the good news not priced in yet? I mean, it really is priced in, from my understanding. Uh, everything is baked into the cake with the German DAX around twelve thousand. Uh, French business confidence came in uh, slightly better than expected. Uh, in terms of CHF, uh, Swiss industrial production came in weaker than expected. Italian retail sales weaker than expected. Uh, UK CBI data coming came in stronger uh, than expected. And now we have Fed national activity. We have the uh, jobless claims in the US, Fed lockout speech and housing price index as well. Uh, I think that's about it for this morning. Okay, so really from my perspective, the political uncertainty reigns supreme. And you are looking, and also obviously a Fed that's hawkish, certainly is net net negative for the markets. Now let's bring up the actual technicals and let's see exactly where we stand looking at the German DAX. Uh, daily chart, yesterday's doji certainly holding, no new highs thus far and therefore indicating risk aversion. 60 minute chart, a topping tail certainly holding very well, have a bearish engulfing candle at the moment. Again, that horizontal resistance certainly holding, double top holding and now looking to move lower on the German DAX. In terms of the French CAC, again, this is an index that I very much remain uh, bearish on. Okay, so daily chart at the moment, you're basically consolidating uh, a doji candle. Okay, on the daily chart, 60 minute chart at the moment, you're holding resistance, looking to move lower. 10 minute chart at the moment, again, that resistance level certainly has held around the 4912 and therefore looking to potentially move lower back down to 4860. So certainly looking for risk aversion, okay, and also looking for that gap below as well. In terms of the FTSE 100, again, horizontal resistance holding, okay, on the 60-minute uh, chart, daily chart, certainly yesterday's uh, bullish engulfing candle, certainly not, uh, no, no follow-through there at all. 10-minute chart certainly has hit that 7308 and then subsequently reversed, okay. In terms of the um, Euro stocks, last but not least, you're looking at the Euro stocks here again, holding resistance, daily chart, holding that double top level. Okay, so again, overall, conclusion, risk aversion, looking for uh, markets to move lower. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.